But before we continue, this video is brought to you by Mech Arena is the perfect game for those who love shooting games but don't want to spend too much time on a single match. You can play 2-3 matches in less than 10 minutes and still get tons of fun from them. The game has many mechs, weapons and pilots. My preferred style is the laser guns because they just feel more futuristic and sci-fi. Furthermore, Neymar Jr. Pilot is still available and still one of the strongest pilots in the game. So if you want to get him for free, just play Mech Arena on 7 different days between now and December 18 to get him. The game is completely free to play and if you use my personal link or scan this QR code, you'll receive a free starter pack that's worth $30. This pack includes a skin, an amateur crate and 5000 credits. Also, this is my player ID and maybe we can play some matches together if you see me online. As you saw from the intro, we are going to be in a very dire situation in the late game. They were close to destroying all our inhibitors and our jungler kept going AFK from time to time. But in the very late game, all you need is one big PP to win the game. And what better hero to use than Lo Yi for this? She can teleport your whole team on the enemy's backline and hit them when they're least expected. Also, recently she got a buff, so I just had to try her again. I probably sound like a broken radio by keep repeating this part, but seriously, help your jungler take the buff faster. This is a small thing, but it's still quite impactful. When I play the jungler, I still see many players not do this, so hopefully by keep repeating this, more players are aware of this. I helped the jungler, came back to my lane, and still didn't lose any minions. Always love to see this kind of start. Ignorance. Lo Yi has a massive advantage over Veil in the early game, so you can try to zone him out like this. I just noticed that our jungler went to gang bottom without taking his blue buff, which means no ult. What a fascinating fella. Fortunately, I'm winning my lane quite convincingly, so we won't be that behind. Sarah is ulting without using the first skill first. <laughs> if you don't want your teammates to be making these kind of very rookie mistakes, like, subscribe and share, so more players will know about these things and will improve a lot faster. Remember, you can always use the enemy minions to hit the targets that are behind them. You might be wondering, how did I know that those minions were going to be exactly there? Because I was looking at the map and I saw where our minions were. Remember to always keep the first and second skill on different colors and always use the first skill first and then the second. I have seen many inexperienced Loyi doing it the other way around. The reason is very simple, the first skill takes time to hit the target but the second skill is an instant cast. Probably the only time you want to cast the second skill first is when the target is out of reach and you want to slow him down. Peace and 
he fell for the simplest bait in the book. Martis is quite broken right now, especially if you have an Angela on your side. By the way, this Angela seems to take her job quite seriously. I was about to witness that savage, but I guess it was too much for my device to handle. I died because of that disconnect, and I just realized that he didn't get the savage because our score is still the same prior to the disconnect. Our Hanabi is pretty sus, she just decided to give the turtle to the jungler. I guess she was a bit worried that it was going to be very uninteresting otherwise. This is when I realized that this game won't be as easy as we originally thought. Our server is either lagging, distracted, or his little 8 years old cousin is playing his account. Their jungler and marksman are dead, my team should have absolutely no problem taking this lord. I guess he is distracted. I heed their call. Launch attack. I noticed that sometimes you can hold on the bushes and sometimes it doesn't work. If I'm not mistaken, I saw that in one of the recent updates, they made it so that you can no longer hold inside the bush, but like I said, Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if we can make a big play. Actually, their veil could have easily made a big counterplay here if he wasn't so scared. If he knew that Loi's ult takes roughly 4 seconds to cast, then he could have preemptively casted his ult and his full combo. That was his one shot, one opportunity moment, but he let it slip. They increase her ult range by a lot. Too 
this probably wasn't worth it, but we probably would have lost the team fight trying to contest the Lord anyway. With our remarksmen and the jungler getting picked off right away, it would have been a very risky fight. Oh no! Oof, that was close. Aemon probably saw that I used my second skill, that's why he came for me. This is looking quite dicey. This is looking really bad. Leslie thinks she's the only one who knows how to poke. It all comes down to this one moment. A shift of space and time. <laughs> By the way, you saw that this time I was able to hold on the bushes, right? We are mechanic. Not gonna lie, this seriously felt like a 4v6. We need to make another big PP if we want to win this. Even though the score wasn't that close, but this was still a pretty interesting game. We probably would have lost the game if we didn't make some very big plays at the end. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay and I will see you in the next video.